To start this glitch, head into Forsaken, and you're going to need a friend for this one. Player 2 who isn't the host will also need 100 rare salvage to buy a flamethrower. You can also use the salvage glitch that I showed in my last video, linked in the description. Or you can beat round 10, which will reward you with 100 rare salvage. Then have player 2 grab the flamethrower from the crafting table. Once they have the flamethrower, the host will need to go into social and remove player 2 from the party. You will both need to have Aether Shroud Tier 3 as your field upgrade. Before heading into the glitch, both players need to grab Juggernaut. Make sure you have plenty of money before doing the next step. Be sure not to open any doors on Main Street. Stand right here and use Aether Shroud Tier 3. Now open this door and you both need to grab the Stamina Up perk. You will both need to do this next part very quickly or you may die from the Death Barrier. Also, make sure you do not have any stems equipped. Once on the video store roof, open the catwalk to stop the death barrier damage. Make your way down to the street and stand right beside the car door. If you're in the right spot, all the zombies will pile up without attacking you. You will want the friend with the flamethrower to stand on the other car, and make sure they are not too far onto the hood or they will start to receive death barrier damage. You can stay here killing them with weapons if you want, or you can use the flamethrower glitch if you want to reach higher rounds. Have player 2 equip the flamethrower, pull the trigger, and then pause the game. This will allow them to have unlimited flamethrower ammo. They will get kicked for inactivity, so to avoid this they will need to go into social, click on any player, select report player, and then go down to the comment bar. Click on that to have the floating keyboard pop up, and then they need to stay on that screen for the rest of the game. If they back out of the comment section, they will be instantly kicked from the game. Sadly, I do not think this glitch will work on PC, but let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. The host can then go AFK if they want, until the abomination shows up. The best way to deal with the Abomination is to make your way to the crafting table and buy a death machine. Don't spend too long away from the glitch area since the zombies can down you pretty quickly. When the Abomination shows up, take him out quickly with the death machine. I also like to use a Molotov to cause extra damage. If your friend does get down, make sure you revive them quickly before they bleed out so that they can continue to use the flamethrower. The host won't get as many kills, but they can grab some perks which can help them get more. So head over to Burger Town to grab Elemental Pop. Then head to the bar and grab Deadshot Daiquiri. Sadly, you cannot grab Mule Kick without ruining the glitch, so to get ammo, you will need to use the ammo box. And grab a gun out of the mystery box or off a wall in case you run out of ammo. Player 2 will be getting a lot more kills than the host, but they won't get any weapon XP when using the flamethrower, so you may want to take turns being the host if you are going after camos. If you are after rank XP, then you'll want to take turns being player number 2. Hope this video helps you out, and if it does, then smash that like button for me and make sure to subscribe for more glitches. And that's all for now, I'll see you next time.